Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. The decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement, but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his terms, whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks. He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Three, two, three. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. What a tricky head kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick.
that was a thudding leg kick. Straight punch. Lands with the right hand. Caught that kick there. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Straight punch lands. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Chin down, hands up. Pretty good jab there by Lee. I mean, that right hand lands is square. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Kick lands. Slips. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. there by Lee. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Try to establish that jab. Seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. Slips the punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big call for what's land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, wow! Head kick. Work, guys. 
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Liver kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Can't take many of those, you better check. Stay busy. You control this. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Massive head kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Hands high, hands high. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown. Score some points. I want to see. Just missed on the front kick there. Dig and kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Ten seconds remain in round two. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Bleeding from his cheek now. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And they separate. Checks that leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over three minutes now to go. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Shot to the body now, blocked by Lee. Nice leg kick land. Switching stances here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, let's go. Looking for that jab. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice punch there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand on point. Nice head kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Now connects with a right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He blocks the punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big wide kick. And they separate. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low. 
and now he's got him hurt very badly. What a round! All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice punch land over the top. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Be first, be first. Powerful leg kick lands. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Lee's shot is blocked. Right punches there. Just out of range with that right hook. left now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice strike. Nice sneaky head kick. Under three minutes remain in round four. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. the separation now. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to scale to the side. Otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Right hook attempt, but it's no good. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that. All the reps in the training room are going to pay off. One minute. There you go. Look for the shot. And he caught the kick. Oh, 
now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters Here's still five. look pretty fresh to me, right. DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint workouts during training camp or something. I mean, these guys are known for working very, very hard. Both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation, and it's showing on both sides of the octagon. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big kick lands. Left hand, not there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Nice kick. All right, getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Big head kick lands. Nice knee to the body there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head over that jab. There's no tell on that leg kick. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Changes his stance. Just missing on the high kick there. Gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg forward, kick. Forward, forward. Trying to establish that jab once again. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Liver kick. Timely defense 
bench there. Huge block for him. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, a huge block there. Nice body kick right up the elbow. So a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48-47. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bitch, the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did need all the interaction. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.